So in this video, we're going to talk about Ohm's Law. And Ohm's Law is an equation, P equals I R, and we can take a look at these variables. So V is also equal to voltage, or stands for voltage, and that's measured in volts. And I stands for current, and that is measured in amps. And lastly, we've got R, which stands for resistance. And that is measured in ohms. And ohms are drawn in this, uh, are symbolized by the, the, the Greek letter omega, which is this uh, interesting horseshoe-looking shape. And so this is Ohm's law. And on a most basic level, what this means is, for example, on the MCAT we'll be given, say we've got a circuit, we've got a battery, we've got a resistor, and we say, let's say the voltage of this battery is equal to 12, 12 volts, and we've got a resistance of equal to, let's say, 4 ohms. And so the question we might get is, what is the current? And it's very clear, four, 12 divided by 4, and we know that the current is equal to 3 amps. And so this is a very, very basic Ohm's Law question, right? So we might get a variation on this. Another question we might be asked is, we might be asked about power. And the power in a circuit, another equation that we should know, is equal to IV. I being current, obviously, and V being voltage. V being voltage. So fairly clear. Uh, and then power is our unit, and power we know as units in watts. Right? So this is another equation we might get. So we might get, for example, a question, what is the power of this circuit? And so power of this circuit is current, or 3, times the voltage, which is 12. And so we might get an answer. So the answer is 12 times 3, or 36 watts. Power, 36 watts. Okay, so this is a very basic uh, way to solve these types of Ohm's Law uh, questions. Uh, now we know how to calculate power out of a circuit, and we know how to calculate uh, when we're given two of the three, voltage, current, or resistance, we can figure out the third variable. Now, the question is, how do we calculate resistance for a circuit when it's not necessarily obvious? So there are a couple ways we can do that, a couple of uh, considerations. So, for example, let's say we have this circuit here. And instead of one resistor, it has two resistors. Instead of the last one, which is just one resistor, it has two resistors, right? So let's say, again, the voltage is 12 volts. Um, but let's say we don't know the, re let's say we don't know the resistances. Let's say we have resistance R1 and we have R2. And let's say R1 equals 2 and R2 is uh, equal to 4 ohms, right? And again, the units are ohms. That's this horseshoe shape thing. And um, really, it's a little smaller than that. I'm not drawing, I'm not quite very great at drawing the letter omega, the Greek letter omega, but this is what it looks like. So what is the resistance, the equivalent resistance of this circuit? And then from that, we can also, also figure out the current. So the equivalent resistance, when the two resistors are connected in series, is just we add the resistors together. So R1 plus R2, 2 plus 4, equals 6 ohms. Right, fairly clear. And then to figure out current, we would do 12 volts over 6 ohms. And the answer is 2, 2 amps. And so that's a fairly clear way to do this uh, type of a problem. But what if two resistors are connected, not in series, but in parallel? So let me draw it like this. And then let's say that circuit, instead of, instead of just having two circuits connected in series, they're connected in parallel, which is to say that they're on two separate branches of the circuit. So the circuit goes like that, and it goes back like that. Let's say this is R1, and this is R2. Right? And let's say the resistance of R1 is 6 ohms. Let's say R2 is 
equal to three ohms. So how would we figure out the equivalent resistance, or at least the overall, we could say the overall resistance of the circuit? So what we would do is the equation for that is 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2, uh, and so on and so forth. So we could do 1 over R3, 1 over R4, until we do all the resistors that are connected in parallel, uh, equals the 1 over the equivalent resistance. So in this case, 1 over 6 plus 1 over 3 equals 1 over R E Q. How do we add fractions together? Well, if we remember uh, from the past, we want to we know that we want to uh, get the same common denominator. We want to get a common denominator. So what we would do is we would multiply this one by two. And so what we would end up with is we would end up with one over six. Let's move down a little bit so we have a little more space. Okay, a little more space. We would end up with one over six plus 2 over 6 equals 3 over 6. 3 over the 6 over 6 is the same thing as 1 over 2. And so now we've got equivalent resistance, 2. So we know that the equivalent resistance of this circuit is 2. And so that means we can draw, could re, we could in theory redraw this as a circuit with just one resistor. And that resistor has a resistance of 2 ohms. And remember, uh, keep in mind that when res two resistors are connected in series, as in this case over here, when, let's actually change the color a little bit. So as in this case, when two resistors are connected in series, the resistance is the total of the two resistors. And that means that resistance is higher than any one resistor. But when two resistors are connected in parallel, resistance is actually lower than any one resistor. So we saw here that R1 was, was 6, and R2 was 3 but the equivalent resistance was 2. And so that actually intuitively, let's let's take a brief idea of it intuitively. Intuitively, what's happening is that the current can either go this way or it can go this way. So the current is split. So not all the current is flowing in any one direction. And that means that the overall resistance is less because the current can kind of choose the pathways. And so um, just from an intuitive standpoint, that's kind of how we can, we can see that uh, the overall or the equivalent resistance is 2 ohms, and that's kind of why it's a little lower when we've got um, resistors that are connected in parallel versus resistors connected in series. And so that is the concept of Ohm's law, and uh, that is the concept of, so as we said, just to go back, we said we can calculate voltage, current, and resistance. We, we can calculate two of the three. We're given two of the three, we can calculate one. We can also calculate power, and we know how to calculate equivalent resistance uh, in series and in parallel.